맵 데드윙에 대해서 알아보겠습니다. Let's take a look at Deadwing. There's a lot of controversy about this map after its initial release. The issue being that players were able to spawn horizontally from one another, which allowed for some interesting but overly strong tactics using things like siege tanks and air units because their natural and their third were almost touching. Because of this, a patch was quickly released so players can only spawn vertically or diagonally away from one another. This helped to alleviate a lot of the problems with using siege tanks and air units to basically harass your opponent and prevent them from actually getting their expansions up and going. One of the fundamental elements of Deadwing is that it's easier to expand to your third compared to the expansion timings on maps like Catalina or the natural expansion timing of maps like Foxtrot Labs. Because of the early economic boost being a typical opener, many games often lead to a fourth base macro game. It's easy to expand up to your fourth because the natural is so easy to take, it gives you that economic advantage and the defender's play that allows you to secure your base and expand and take the game to a macro base play instead of micro base rushes. This was often proven in Code A where matches became a long drawn out competition. The base positions really are the unique selling point to Deadwing. The natural expansion being so close to the third makes it much easier to defend from most timing attacks. Having all of your bases consolidated in one area makes it generally easier to defend because you don't have to split your army as much and it makes it a lot easier to stop things like drops and early harassment play. Another thing to note is that Deadwing is a map with a lot of resources, so you need to watch out for hidden expansions. It's really easy for a player to hide an expansion somewhere out of the way to secretly build up their economy when you might think something like a rush or an early timing attack is coming. When players spawn diagonally in Deadwing, the game tends to go until mid or late game. However, when they spawn vertically, this seems to change. As the distance between the thirds are very short, the game normally becomes a skirmish after both players take their third base. This map heavily favors players who like to go for an early 3 base build. However, other players who like to play more aggressively may find it suited to rush early and counter this strategy.